A towing team has removed the small airplane that crashed into Lake Travis last night as the FAA continues to investigate what went wrong. The man towing the boat says he may have found a clue. KXAN's Jacqueline Powell reports. Removing this plane from the water and disassembling it so it could be towed away was a long, tedious process. It took Chris Riley and his team more than 10 hours. A lot of that is still part of the FFA investigation. Uh, we have to make sure we don't get in the cockpit, around the cockpit, damage any of the glass in the cockpit or any of the crucial components to the plane. Riley mainly works with boats, but he does tow planes like this one from time to time. It's an amphibious plane, meaning it can land on either ground or water. Only problem with this particular landing was the running gear was left down. By running gear, he means the wheels under the plane. Riley says when this kind of plane hits a runway, they should be down for the landing. But when it hits the water, the wheels shouldn't be out like this. So pretty much it was a sudden stop to the plane just because the drag of the wheels caused the tip of the plane just to dip down in the water. It's important to note that's not an official answer as to why the plane dipped into the water. The FAA will have the final word once its investigation is finished. Jacqueline Powell, KXAN News. We found that the man who owns that plane is Thomas Mion, the owner of Briarcliff Marina near Spicewood. The FAA has not released whether he was the pilot flying that aircraft when it crashed yesterday.